Enjoy enjoying the flight on Pelican Sam Airlines, Freddy. A lot, Sam. Gosh, Luther, it was really great of your Uncle Blenny to invite us to the Founders Day Festival. Well, Uncle Blenny says that I'm his favorite nephew. And you know I'd never take a special trip like this without my best friend, Freddy Fish. That is. Hey, look at Sam. That looks like a foreign language phrase book. Could we buy it, please? Sure, Freddy. It'll cost you one orange sea urchin. from snapping shut. Hmm, I wonder what will happen if I pull this plug. Great job! I knew you could pull it off, get it? Pull off? Oh, move there. I had better hold on to this. You just never know when a drain plug might come in handy. Luther! Freddy! Over here! Uncle Blenny? Uncle Blenny, what are you doing in jail? Well, Luther, the great conch shell was stolen. The Founders Day Festival can't start without it. Since I'm the grand, exalted keeper of the conch, I'm the prime suspect. But I didn't do it. Here, here's a diagram of the conch shell before it was taken. The priceless conch had three golden pipes, but they may have fallen out. And here's a picture of all the people who were nearby when the crime happened. There's Gil Barker, Claw, Nadine the Narwhal, Rosie Pearl, Pierre the Tailor, and Horse Fetters the Tourist. Can't your dog fish about the thief? Old Soggy Sniffer ain't what it used to be. But if he can get the three golden pipes, he can pick up the scent. We'll find the three golden pipes, Uncle Blenny. You're my only hope, nephew. You and your friend, Freddy Fish. Poly. But I suppose it will have to do, unless of course I could get the perfect accessory of blue tail Joey Barb fan. That would look beautiful, Pierre.
This is a statue of our founder. It is in his honor that we hold the annual Founders Day Festival. I spy with my little eye something beginning with a P. Can you guess what it is? It's a purple sea urchin! Good work, Luther! Sam only likes orange sea urchins. Would you like to try a banana? No thanks. I already had a big bowl of krill toasties for breakfast. By the way, name's Magenta. I'm Luther, and this is Freddy Fish. So, Luther, what do you want to be when you grow up? Bigger. So, what do you got me up to? We have to find a stolen conch shell and get my Uncle Blenny out of jail. Sounds like you've got your hands full. Good luck. Is there anything I can get for you two? Not right now. Thanks. Have you seen the great con show? Sir, about that shim sham jimity jam clapper gapper in your bag? We'll have to find a way to communicate better. Hey, look! There are loads of orange sea urchins in this wallet. We're 
witch, witch, witch! This wallet doesn't belong to us, Luther. According to this picture, it belongs to a narwhal with a long tooth, big eyes, and spots. I'll hold on to it until we can find the owner. But my bet is on that guy, Pierre. He's kinda shady. If we're going to save the Founders Day Festival, we've got to find three golden pipes. Horse Fetters is one of the suspects we must investigate. <laughs> Club. And you nice guys can't get in! So scram! Freddy, this guy is really mean! Remember the terrific tumble to drive last year? Well, what we've got in store for you this year is even better. Yes, say you want world peace. Yes, say you want bulging pectoral fins and thin thighs. Well, tough nuggies, you won't get that here. But for only four purple sea urchins, what you will get is a chance to prove your skill and have thrill at Gil Barker's world famous floating fun. It's the perfect game for a fish with a sharp eye and a steady fin. That sounds like you, Freddy. So she's not only cute, but she can also shoot. Well, let's have four purple sea urchins and you can show us your stuff. to us. Wow, we're really on top of this. Hmm. 
the golden pipe didn't move. Those blue sponges move the golden pipe closer to Outstanding! Great! We're on the right track! This seems to be working! Those purple sponges move the golden pipe. Keep it up and we'll have... Hmm, we're not moving the golden pipe very fast. Way to go! Hey, Freddy, you smell that? What is it? Ah, the sweet smell of success. Now we need just two more golden pipes for old Zoe to pick up the scent. There are nine drum rhythms we can play. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow. Gee, I wonder how many golden pipes Freddy and Luther have now. I sure hope you're right. Oh. Why, yes! It's plain and simple because simplicity is the essence of beauty. Please, take this orange sea urchin as thanks for returning my possession. Hey, this money is the essence of wealth! Thanks a lot! Look, Luther, a plastic shovel! We could use it to dig a hole! All the way to the other side of the world! Whatever you say, Lothar. Excuse me, but I think you've got something rather large caught between your teeth. Silly boy, those are my teeth. I mean, my tooth. Only 1% of Lady Narwhals ever grow one, so that makes me rather special, don't you think? Well, to tell the truth, I, I mean the truth, I mean, uh, I'm sure that as Narwhals go, you're right up there. I sure am going to get my hit in that clam's sharp scissor-like jaws. Gee, that fish looks like it's really hungry for those kelp vines. <clears throat> These kelp vines are too thick for us to get past. Finny fish whose bite is worse than his bark will ever be. Don't go sneaking round the ocean floor unless you want to mess with me. Well, I down deep into the monkey sea. Well, that's where you run 
In a me, I'm a cool catfish with an attitude. I got plenty of style to make you feel so cool. Come take a swim in the blue, I'll make you feel so cool. Oh, oh. Sea urchin. I need three more before you guys get through the door. Another purple sea urchin for you. Purple sea urchin number two, but that ain't gonna do. Two purple sea urchins more bring the total to four. Here's another purple sea urchin. That's three purple sea urchins, and I'm one away from having enough to let you play. Here's our last purple sea urchin. Four purple sea urchins, precisely the price of admission. And fortunately for you two, uh, having a special. For every little yellow fish that pays admission, a little green fish gets in absolutely free. Boy, did I ever hit this on the right day. Flip the critters up the wall. When enough of the same critters touch each other, they'll go away. If you use all the critters in the tube, you'll advance to a new level. But watch out. When the critters move above the bar, they won't go away.
How would you like to sell that foreign language phrase book for one orange sea urchin, Sam? I'd rather get a snack, but an orange sea urchin will do. Thanks a lot, Sam. We'll put this to good use. Freddy, I can't understand the word that foreign terrorist is saying. Maybe we can find the language he's speaking in this foreign language phrase book. Book matches the flag on this bag. May we please have the Shim Sham Jimmy Jam Clapper Gapper that's in your bag? So, the Shim Sham Jimity Jam Clapper Gapper that's been giving horse feather so much trouble is what you want? I'd be glad to give you to it. Mr. Feather, sir. It's a drain plug. Hey, Luther, help me dig out this old hollow log and pull it into the water. Okie dokie. Push this log. Well, I'm not pushy by nature, but in this case, I'll make an exception. Ugh. We're really making headway. Keep pushing. Ugh. If we can just keep the log moving, we'll be home. This old hollow log might help us get the waterfall. You should try having brainstorms on a more regular basis. <laughs> Luther, I think we need to find something else for that blue-tailed joey bird to cuddle with. If we want to get that golden pipe. Look, it's a feather from a blue-tailed joey bird. Beautiful, Freddy. <laughs> the 
Good job, Luther. Everything from the dramatic to the acrobatic, and it's all 100% aquatic. So now, ladies, gentlefish, and guppies, prepare to be amused and amazed. Was that great or what? Yeah, you bet it was! I am Pierre Satella. Happy 
air, we found a beautiful blue-tailed joey bird feather. We thought you might like it to decorate your hat. Oh, yes. The feather is a perfect accessory for my hat, mon chapeau. You can't keep that roly-poly egg. Voila! It's a magnet. Joey Bird happier than that golden pipe ever was. Golden? Sure? No, Freddy. Golden pipe. All we need is one more golden pipe, and old Doggy can sniff. Is it true that we're not going to have a festival? They can find the comp show so we can have a festival. I've waited all year. Jim Sham Jimmy Jam Clapper Gapper will keep that clam from snapping shut. Okay, Luther, I'm gonna need your help. Right on, Freddy! <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> I got a golden pipe! I don't care what anyone else says, you're a good fish. Wait there! We found all three golden pipes! Come on! Let's see if old Soggy can pick up the bad guy's scent. Here you go, boy! Come on, Luther! We've got a bad guy to catch! Shell thief. We'll meet you back at the center of town as soon as we can. Thank you. 
gorgeous shade of red. I hope this doesn't set off another trap. But I've got to try everything to get Luther out. This red crystal could really come in handy if I could only break it loose. Luther! I'm free! 
must have dropped this bag. <gasps> Looks like we can solve this case. Come on. No conch shell means no festival. And I just polished my tooth. Oh, the colossal irony of it all. And now, for the first time ever, the show won't go on. It's all Uncle Flinny's fault. I'm gonna give that bum a piece of my mind. Stop! Uncle Flinny is innocent. <gasps> the thief dropped this bag. When we looked inside, we found the thread and the sewing needle. Which means the thief is... You're the thief. Ridiculous. That could have been anybody's thread and sewing needle in that bag. You have nothing on me. Oh la la. Oh no. All right. Uh, maybe you do have something on me. I confess. The great conch is the ultimate expression of exquisitely good taste. It would have made the ultimate accessory for my latest and greatest fashion creation. The great conch isn't just an ornament. It's an important part of life under the sea. Also, being great at something you do doesn't give you the right to do bad things. And no matter how you look at it, stealing is bad. I feel smaller than the krill. I'm a sorry, needlefish. I return to you, the great conch. Uncle Blenny, we're sorry we blamed you. That's okay. I'm still the grand, exalted keeper of the conch, thanks to Freddy and Luther. Oh, and old sucker. Gosh, what can I ever do to thank you? Just do your duty, oh grand exalted keeper of the conch. Uh... Pierre was convicted of breaking Penal Code 919 for only thinking of himself. As punishment, Pierre was sentenced to 4,284 hours of public service, sewing hand puppets for underprivileged humpback whales. Case closed.